Montage comes from the French word monthier, which means to assemble or to put things together. If you're thinking montage in film has anything to do with France, you're dead wrong. In 1918, the new Russian government took over film studios across Russia and formed a new state-controlled company called Nakumpros. At this time, there was no raw film stock in Russia. Filmmakers in Russia started to study film, like how long the shot was and how it was edited together, in what order and why. So the Russian government opened a film school called the State Institute of Cinematography. The most influential teacher in the school was Lev Koloshov. He took D.W. Griffith's film and disassembled them, shot by shot. He studied the editing rhythm in his workshop. For this, he deserves a lot of accolade. Koloshov is well known for the effect which he created called the Koloshov effect. Koloshov took a video of a Russian actor looking at the camera with no expression on his face and he cuts to a bowl of soup, then back to the actor and he asks the audience how the actor was feeling. They said hungry. He did the same with a, with a girl in a coffee. They said grief. And he did the same also with a lady sitting on a chair. They said desired. Kuleshov effect shows that viewers can draw meaning from two shots cut together than one shot on its own. I've decided to make my own Kuleshov effect, but this time with a little bit of twist because I think for the Kuleshov effect to work properly, you need to add sound because sound makes a huge difference in the Kuleshov effect. So, watch. As we already know from the Kuleshov effect, that a film can get its meaning from the way two shots are cut together. By this I mean the duration, repetition and rhythm of the shots. For example, if you see soldiers jumping off an helicopter, people running and bomb going up, we know we are being told that this is a war scene. Let's take a look at how montage is used in a film called Days of Glory, directed by Rashid Bujarab. <laughs> 